He just oozed arrogance. San Antonio. Sit down, shut your mouths while I conduct my business. And the business at hand are the events that transpired a couple weeks ago on Dynamite in Montreal. People wanting to know why Nick's mom smashed the rated R superstar Adam Copeland in the head with my TNT championship. Now I could sit here and I could explain it to you myself, but why should I do that when she can do it herself? What? So without further ado, San Antonio, get on your feet and show some respect for Shayna Wayne. Oh, yes! What a gift! Christian Cage's inescapable paternal magnetism. Hold on a minute. I've done it again. This is a woman that not only lost her husband, but also now has lost her son to Christian Cage. She is gonna come down here to ringside. Are you kidding me, Nigel? The only thing she's lost is her heart. You're terrible. Absolutely, Nigel. It's true McGinnis. love, I thought if anyone could have... She loves her son. Okay, she loves her son. Shayna, the floor is yours. Well-deserved booze. Yeah, they have been drinking. You boo me? You boo a mother? How dare you? did in Montreal to Adam Copeland. Nick Wayne is my son. He's my baby boy, my pride and joy. and I watched Adam Copeland smash a steel chair into his head. And you wonder why I made the choice that I did? I did what any loving mother would do. I protected my son. Really? Really? Through a mother, really? Through it all, I, something's been made very, very clear to me. The one person that loves and cares for my son as much as I do is the patriarch, Christian Cage. Doesn't she have an HOA to run? Thanks, Karen. And now Shayna realizes what I've always known, and the world realizes what I've always known, and that Adam Copeland is a despicable human being. He is a piece of crap. <laughs> Shayna Wayne worked as a waitress for $40,000 a year. She worked bottom feeding, loser, low end jobs just to put food on her son's plate to try to make his dream come true of becoming a pro wrestler. And with one swing of that concerto, Adam, you tried to take that whole dream away. And you would think that if anybody would understand their situation, if anybody would have a little empathy for their situation, it would be you, considering you yourself grew up with a single mother that did those same crappy loser jobs to make sure you realized your dream. And now, Adam, 
There's a small, a very small part of me that wishes your mother was still alive so I could watch her disown you on behalf of all single mothers all over the world. Oh, this is good. That's... But Adam, it's about your rage, isn't it, huh? Your anger issues. You've never been able to, to harness your anger properly. And it cost you big time in Montreal, didn't it? Montreal was not a very good night for you. It was a great night for me. Not only did I score the biggest victory in my career and retain my championship, but I scored another way that night. When I walked out of Montreal with my matriarch, when I walked out of Montreal with Mother Wayne. And now that my family is secure, now that my family is complete, I'll address your challenge that you made, Adam. When you challenged me at World's End for a TNT Championship match and a no disqualification match. Adam, I'll accept your invitation for a fight at World's End, but I will not accept it as a challenge because you are no challenge. I've already beaten you. See, now you're realizing what I've told you all along. I am levels above you and everybody else in this business. I stand on the mountaintop as the very best in this sport. And at World's End, on behalf of your mother and all the single mothers all over the world, I am gonna take you behind the shed and put you down in Long Island for the last time. Looks like we have a no disqualification TNT title match coming up next Saturday at World's End. It will be Adam Copeland and the champion Christian Cage one more time.